Alrighty, how are we going? So give me faces back to another Sprocket video on my channel. Today we are actually doing one of the missions in the game, and uh, this is one of the missions that we rarely ever do. Uh, it's actually something that I actually can't remember how to do or what we actually did in it. Uh, so it's going to be kind of crazy. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and design ourselves a cool looking tank today. Uh, and hopefully we're going to be able to complete the mission. So let's do this, shall we? Okie dokie, so to begin with, I actually want to go ahead and start with a freeform hull, just like this one, because honestly, we don't actually want the uh, the bits over the sides, uh, and this is exactly what we want. I want it to be a lot smaller though, so let's go straight to mobility, go straight to tracks, and length of it is actually only going to be about 4.5 meters long. There we go, 4.5 meters long. The separation is going to stay as is, I think that's okay. Uh, and we're actually going to go through these and attach them the way that we want them. So I always go with this uh, being the way that our wheels look. I don't know why I do that, but I actually really like the way it looks. Uh, so I guess that's why I do it. We're going to go to track segments and we're going to have it be very old fashioned. Uh, this is early war, so I think that's actually fine to do. We'll leave it like that. I do, however, want it to be thicker. So if we make this uh, thicker, that would be great. Uh, 0.6. I believe is where it started and where it's going to finish. That's good. Thickness is actually going to be pretty thick. Like, it's going to be really thick. There we go. And the length of them are actually going to be pretty short. We're going to go with something like 0.2. Uh, and that's good. Yeah, that's actually excellent. Nice. We're going to go to fenders. And we're actually going to go ahead and get rid of them. And that's going to be okay. And yeah, I think that's all right. I also want to get the shape of this right as well. So I want the back end to somewhat come down. Uh, like this and I want the front end to somewhat stay pretty level uh, so even though I've already moved this uh, we're moving it a little bit more okay cool so the sprocket uh, is actually gonna be pretty big I want it to be pretty large there we go excellent I feel like this is really weird because uh, they're very chunky and it sort of goes through the wheels I'm not sure why it does that but it does uh, the idler I want that to be pretty big too if we can uh, so diameter of this pretty large and lower it down to there all right excellent and then I want the road wheels to actually be lowered so if we can make them lower that would be excellent but unfortunately it looks like that can't happen so we'll extend this upwards uh, we'll extend these guys upwards as well and we'll extend this bit upwards as well a tiny bit and I think that'll work out for us nice all right that's actually pretty good Spacing, uh, I feel like should be pretty big. So let's move these outwards while we still can. Uh, and then spacing, we're going to go ahead and extend this forwards like so. And I think that actually looks pretty sick. I like it. Okie dokie, but that does mean that everything else is sort of in the wrong position. So we're going to go to the front of this. We're going to bring it backwards to about there. That's excellent. We're also going to go to the back and we're going to bring it forwards to about there. Uh, and we're honestly going to build onto this as it is. So... Uh, points, we're going to have it be angled. Alright, extremely angled, I should say. Uh, and that's all good. Faces, we're going to extend this one. Okay, okay. And we're going to bring this bit forwards, like so. We're also going to bring it upwards as well, because I think we should. And we're going to bring this bit forwards too. So somewhat like this uh, would actually be a-okay. Alright, bring both of these backwards. Excellent, yeah. I think that's probably fine. We're also going to go ahead and extend the whole thing downwards. Because it's a little bit too high at the moment. And yeah, that's all good. Then we'll extend these guys backwards. And we should be good to go. It's actually pretty excellent. Nice. Okie dokie. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and grab these side pieces of both of these. We're going to actually extend it sideways a good chunk into here so that it fits. And that is pretty nice. We're then going to extend it upwards. Uh, so extend this bit up. There we go. We'll have it go up just a tiny touch like so. And that's excellent. We'll then grab this one. Bring it up and backwards. So that it fits almost exactly with this one if we can. There we go. Excellent. And yeah, it's actually pretty good. So far it looks it looks okay. If we get a shot in the front, it's angled. Pretty nice. Yeah. Okie dokie. So now this is where things get a little bit annoying. Because honestly this bit needs extending, right? But it also needs... Um, it needs like splitting in half, if that makes any sense. So if we split this, right, 
that means that this face is a thing. Extend this. Uh, we can actually bring this all the way backwards, like so. I want to bring it backwards to about there. And then points, this should be in separate pieces, right? But it's not. It's not actually a separate piece. That's really annoying. What if we unmirror it? All right, what happens now? No, it doesn't work. I thought it would be separate. I honestly did. I thought this would be separate. So split it again. All right, go to points. Is it actually split now? No, it's not. Faces? This is really annoying because I thought it would split there, but it didn't. That's very annoying. Okay, well, anyway, grab this bit, this bit, and this bit. And bring it inwards like so. And the back end of our tank is going to look really weird. There we go. I just think it should because I, I don't know. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Okay, so now we're going to go to the top piece on both of these. Extend them upwards. Make sure they meet with this one if we can. There we go. And I think I actually want this bit and this bit and also this bit to move forwards. There we go. A very, very weird, weird back end of this going on, but I kind of like it. Sure. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I wish I could actually see this tank. So we're actually going to say 1A. We're going to save it and then we're going to actually move on to a different uh, build area so that we can actually see what's going on. Okay, so now you guys can actually see what's going on here. Um, and yes, I actually kind of like the way that it is looking so far. So far, so good. Uh, right, so freeform holes, uh, all that's okay. Uh, if we want a turret, we'll actually put it on top of here. That will be fine. Uh, but first, we need it to do things and stuff. So I'm thinking we actually extend this bit upwards. We go to the points, we grab this one, and we extend this inwards, as well as the front piece. There we go, we'll do that. We'll have a little flat area in the front, at least a tiny bit. But we'll also do this to it as well. In fact, actually, let's do let's do that quite a bit. There we go, we'll do that. And that looks pretty good. Uh, and I'll leave this bit on the back bit flat. Yeah, that works. Right, go to crew. We need a way of getting these guys in and out. So we'll bring them up here. And we'll let them get in and out up there. Excellent, I think that's good. Viewport for the driver. Obviously, we want a driver's seat, so we'll put it right there next to this guy. A little bit lower. Excellent. Uh, commander's coupler. That'll go on top of the engine. Sorry, the turret, I should say. Uh, if I can add any, like, boxes, we're likely to get shot in the front, so it's probably not a good idea for this. Uh, but I guess boxes could go on the back. Kind of like this. There we go. We add some weird, weird boxes back there. Excellent. Lights. I guess they're going to have to go up here somewhere as well. <laughs> there we go. Pretty weird. Actually, no. I feel like they should go on the back, but I've got nowhere to put them. I've, I've legit got nowhere to put them. Unless they go right in the middle. Which is really strange and a really bad place to put them, but we're going to do it. And then these lights are actually going to be pretty small, and they're going to go right there. Excellent. Utility. Obviously, we want logs. We love logs. We'll add them to the side right there. Excellent. Um, anything else that we really, really want on there, we won't put on yet. Because we need to do the turret. So, go to freeform turrets. Go to this one. Actually, this one's like already pretty much the right shape. It just all needs to get a little bit smaller. So, we'll put that on there. Okay, we'll grab, we'll grab the bits of it. So, this one. Extend it inwards. Actually, wait, we'll do it with both. In fact, we'll do it with all of them. We can extend them all inwards. And that would be fine. There we go. Bring them all in. Nice. All right, the turret ring itself needs to be way smaller so that it fits. And that's excellent. We need to grab this one and this one. Bring it inwards. That's pretty good. We're going to bring this one outwards like so. And we're going to mess with this at the front as well. I think we'll actually grab the face. We'll take it backwards like that. Lift it up a little bit. And that'll be pretty sick. Yeah, that's cool. All right, I've gone back to points because I actually want this one to go out sideways like so. Like, like that a little bit. And then I want all of the upper ones to go inwards quite a chunk. Because uh, I think that makes a little bit of sense. And then I actually want to go to the back end. I want to extend this bit upwards. But also backwards quite a chunk. And we're going to lower this down. Here we go. So this goes down to here. In fact, a little bit lower. And I think that'll actually be pretty sick. Yeah, this works. This works. All right, drag this bit outwards. Drag... This bit outwards as well, a little chunk. And I actually think that looks pretty cool, to be honest. I do like it. I like it. All right, we're going to grab this one. We're going to extend this backwards like so. 
We're gonna go to firepower. We're gonna get ourselves a gun, like this one. There we go, whack it on there just like so. Excellent, that actually looks pretty good. I like it. We need a gun viewport though. We actually need a viewport. So go to viewports, grab a gun sight, go ahead and put it directly above the barrel. Probably not the best place to put it, but sure. Uh, and we're actually gonna go ahead and put one of these at the very back. Bam. That's quite a long, skinny turret, but I think we'll 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 roll with it for now. It's fine. Alright, antennas. We're gonna go ahead and put one of these. Uh, slightly sideways like this on there. Excelente. Storage bits. I don't really know what to do with the storage bits. I would kind of like to add two of these to right here, but I guess it is possible. There we go. Excellent. And then we need the engine stuff to also be put on here as well, uh, if at all possible. Also, we're going to put one of these on back there. There we go. That's uh, pretty cool. I mean, it's weird looking, but it's an early war vehicle, so it's allowed to be weird looking. Uh, we should also actually add the riveted panels as well, if we can. So make these a lot bigger and put them on. All right, there we go. We'll have one there and we'll have one here. All right, excellent. And then we need to like sort of just stop it. <laughs> we need to sort of just stop it, please. All right, there we go. So angle it so that it fits. So it's right. Make it a little bit smaller. Put it right there. Excellent. Go ahead and get this one. Angle it all the way around to the front. And we'll put that right on there like... Like... Ah, there we go. Alright, excellent. I think that works. Sure, why not? Alright, now, engine. We need the exhaust to come out somewhere. I actually think that this little position right here is not a bad idea. So we'll, we'll use these and we'll put it there. Excellent, it pokes them out the back end. Very good. We're also then going to add these guys for the engine right on the front. I know it's weird, but that's where it's going to go. All right, cool. We'll, we'll roll with this. Livery. I don't know what country it would really be for. I'm going to say French. We're going to go with French. Uh, and we're going to try and make it the right colors. I don't really know. Maybe we should go with this. And make the scale of it really tiny. There we go. We go with like something really small. And then the brightness quite far down. I don't know. We'll go with this. There we go. Uh, and yeah, we'll make it French. So these guys. The round elves. are going to go right on there. There we go, excellent. It looks weird, I know it does, but I think we'll we'll be able to use it, possibly, maybe, I don't know. All right, so back to the gun though, back to the gun. So we need this thing to be like pretty good, to be fair, but we also need it to just work. So we're gonna do this and this. We're gonna make the start of the barrel a little bit longer. All right, we're gonna make it a little bit fatter uh, towards the end, so like this. All right, excellent. We're gonna take the end of the barrel off and we're gonna replace it with this, excellent. And that's actually pretty good. We're then going to make the length of the barrel a lot shorter. Yep. And we're going to make it 75 by... I don't know. I, I want it to fire quite quickly. So we're going to go with 50. And then we're going to go with... 85 penetration. So there we go. Alright, so it's a 76 mil by... Um, 50 centimeters. Okay, good. Uh... Duh, 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 duh. I want it to be like that. I don't want the barrel to be like too long. Don't want it to be like super long. Uh, but it needs to be chunkier. Like it actually needs to be smaller. Which I find really weird, to be fair. Is that just because of all the weight that's on it? I think it is. Are right, we going to have like quite a fat barrel? There we go. Alright, okay, cool. And then we'll have our counterweight do the rest of the work for us. There we go, and that's excellent. Nice! I kind of like it. Alright, so let's have a little play with it while we can. There we go, excellent. It's got a tiny little turret, but that's alright. Um, oh, yeah, this is a problem, actually. So, we need... We actually need to go to the base. We need to go to the turret, and we need the basket to be way bigger. There we go, we'll go with that. Armor thickness, huge. Height of the thing, really low, that's fine. And we're all good. Okay, excellent. This actually gives us enough room for armor everywhere as well. So, this is actually pretty good. So, armor on the turret on the front is actually going to be really, really big. Alright, armor thickness is going to be... 70, okay. On the sides, it's going to be a lot less. Uh, it's actually going to be like 40 mil. 
on the very side, we're going to have it be even less uh, than 40 mil. So we go with like 25. And that's okay. We're going to make it very, very lightly armored on the sides. Because uh, I feel like that's probably for the best, to be honest. So, lightly armored. We're going to go with 40 mil on the... Uh, 50 mil on the sides. On the front, it's going to be heavily armored. Okay, because that's likely where we're going to get shot. So, we're going to go with 45. Actually, we're going with 55. Make this bit and this bit not very armored at all. 30. This bit and this bit a little bit armored. 35. Uh, the top of it doesn't really need armor at all, but we go with 20. Uh, and then the rear really doesn't need armor at all, but we're going to go with 20 as well. There we go. All right, cool. I don't want to go overboard with the armor. That's my problem. I usually go overboard, but this definitely isn't. Okie dokie, so with all that being said, let's go ahead and save this as 1A, overwrite it, get to the mission, see if we can do it. Alright, there we are, let's go ahead and see if we can actually do this mission, shall we? Oh wow, our lights are very bright. Oh wow, there's a column of us, yes! I think the last time I actually did this mission, there was not a column. There was literally just me, by myself, but no, we've got an army. In we go. I don't even know where we got shot at from uh, before, and I don't know where we... Who are you shooting at? Who are they shooting at? It got it. Oh, it's an AT gun. Uh-oh. Okay, right. We got to watch out for AT guns. Hopefully, you guys can see what's going on. It is very dark. It is extremely dark. So, I feel like YouTube will make it even darker. But I'll try and commentate on what's happening. So, currently, there's actually a building on my left and a building on my right. There's also, like, this big mound in the middle that we are going across. And my guys are actually shooting into the trees over there. I can't see what they're shooting at, so that's a thing. Oh wait, I say my guys. There's me and one guy behind me. That's it, that's all we've got. That's weird. That's really strange. Oh god! Oh, okay, right, okay, there was an anti-tank gun hidden right behind this building. Turn my lights on. Uh-oh. I almost fell off. Alright, we need to take out the anti-tank gun before it shoots me. There we go, AT gun down. Nice. The problem is though, now that my tank is actually in the way. It's actually full on in the way. I'm gonna have to go around. I don't think I fit. Oh god. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, reverse. Turn, turn, turn. Forwards. Yep, okay, we made it round. But I don't think anyone else will. That sucks. <laughs> continue, let's go. Alright, so I'm a bit worried that I'm going to get taken out by an anti-tank gun, so I'm going to continue recording this and see what actually happens. Alright, we got some hedgehogs here. Hedgehogs don't matter, actually. We can actually just go off this side here, and that's fine. So, I believe we actually come up against a pretty strong tank at the end. Uh, or at least I remember that? Yeah, there's a tank right there. We can shoot it in its cupola if we want. I think I missed completely, but that's okay. Alright, let's go. Come on. We don't have a small gun on this thing. We got a pretty decent gun, so maybe it'll be okay. All right, okay. What is that? What am I fighting? Okay, it's shooting at me. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm a lot smaller than it is. This is weird. I can't get my... This is wrong. It's not shooting, but this is wrong. I can't shoot through it. Oh god. Reverse as quickly as I can. I, I don't know what to do here. Alright, I'm going to try and angle myself so my front is facing its turret. And I'm going to reverse away. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. Reverse. It shot me. I shot it back. I'm going to try and shoot it in its turret ring. That didn't work. Okay, we're just having a... a <laughs> A BP battle. I don't know how to kill this thing. Go as fast as we can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. It turns so quickly. Can I track it? I should totally track it. I'm changing my ammunition to... Uh... Oh, it shot my driver. I'm trying to change it to... Um... High explosive to hopefully track it. But I don't know if this is going to work. I can't track it. Please. Let me track you. I need it to not be moving. 
It's just super annoying. Uh, like, the fact that it can turn is so annoying. It's still not tracked. I'm going for it. Drive, 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 drive. I don't want it to be able to shoot me in the side. Because it's... Yeah. I was going to say, it's just going to kill me. Convoy. Come on, convoy. Let's go. Everybody seems to be stuck. I don't know why. I don't know why. Oh, this is so annoying. So, I have to get, like, two tanks there. To be able to actually shoot it and kill it. Because I need to shoot it in the side. Which sucks, actually. That's really annoying. Okay, right. So, I was wondering why you didn't actually go down this bit. Uh, down the sides. It turns out that there is actually a minefield down here. I didn't realize that was even a thing, honestly. I might get blown up by a mine. And I would imagine that that's probably not a good thing. Uh, but also, I'm going to go fully off to the side. And we're going to try and shoot this tank in the side. Hopefully that's okay. Alright, we're getting pretty close now. We are getting very close. There it is right there. Uh, in fact, I might be able to shoot it. I got it. There we go. Alan is dead. Its name was Alan? That's weird. Uh, but yeah, we actually shot that tank in the side that time, in the side of the turret, and it outright just blew up. That's amazing. So we did it. We've completed the mission. That's all we needed to do. This mission's actually pretty simple. All right, drive into the circle. Here we go. And victory! Doo -doo -doo -doo. Nice. Okay, well, mission complete. The A1 actually did it. Nice. Okay, so apparently this little tank actually did, did actually quite well. If we got shot in the side, we were dead. If we got shot in the back, we were dead. Uh, and if we got shot inside of the turret, we were actually dead. But if we got shot head on, we were actually completely fine. Uh, and that's why we actually managed to take on that tank at the end. That was pretty good. Yeah, you know what? Actually a decent tank, to be fair. Um, I'd like to make a tank with a lot more... Actually, like, a lot more detail soon. So we'll probably end up doing that very soon. Uh, but for now, I'm actually going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.